The last animal of the week, aka attack of the anemone clones. Aggregating anemone Anthoplora elegantissima is small but voracious. These itty bitty predatory anemones eat whatever falls in their lap. They can even eat small crabs and spit out the hard shell, a true sign that they are on the dark side. Let's find out more about what happens when two clone armies from two planets on the same rocky shore meet. Okay, so it's not easy living in the rocky intertidal, constantly being pounded by waves, stuck in pools where oxygen levels are dropping hours after the tide has dropped, only to be left sometimes out of water and at risk of drying out completely. And aggregating anemones are quite resilient animals. So aggregating anemones, like all anemones, are in the phylum Nidaria in the class Anthozoa. And that's the same class, yes, that's the same class as corals and gorgonians, which are some of our most well-recognized marine species. So you may confuse the species with the giant green anemone, but giant green anemones are just that. They're giant and often very, very bright green, and they're also solitary. And so that's the best way to distinguish between the two. But there are also other species within the genus Anthoplora, like Xanthogramica or Sola, and those are considered, those were considered a while back one species. And so to distinguish those is a little trickier because they're also very small and can be in groups. But the main difference is that um, Anthoplora elegantissima or the aggregate anemone is usually always in groups and is smaller. And so Similar to their coral relatives, these anemones get their coloring from symbiotic zooxanthellae and unicellular algae. And so aggregating anemones, like some of the ones in the video I'm going to show you guys, can lose their algal symbionts with, when the light levels are um, lower. And that's when these pink little tips show up. So aggregating anemones can be found from Alaska to Baja, California, and they're not exclusively found in the Rocky Intertidal. You can also sp spot them up to 60 feet deep on scuba. And these anemones can reproduce by spawning or by asexual division, the latter of which creates these genetically identical anemones because one anemone now becomes two. A this is a phenomenon called binary fission. So basically one anemone kind of elongates and cleaves off and becomes two. And that's what this cartoon is showing here. So these two reproductive strategies are really ideal because you can both increase your number and your cover by the very kind of fast way to uh, increase your, your population size by building an army of clones while also maintaining some genetic diversity by spawning through egg and sperm um, this broadcasting spawning events that a lot of coral and anemone species do where female and male um, individuals release sperm and egg into the water column. Now, the coolest part about this species, the part that made this theme so great, is that when one clone meets another, there's a, a group of warrior clones along the edge of the colony. And those warrior clones meet the opponent of another clone genetically distinct uh, clone of aggregating anemones. And these warrior um, anemones have these uh, modified defenses called acroasia. And they're these little white knob-like tentacles with nematocysts. Now all anemones have nematocysts, which are large stinging cells. And these warriors are also not reproductive and they're basically specialized for defense. And defending and feeding for the colony. And so these edge anemones fight or fight other clone army armies in a battle over territory. And so what happens is in the stinging war for, fought by the clones along the edge of the colonies, they'll continue until their injuries are so extensive that some of them start to die along that edge. And that's when both colonies usually wave a flag of surrender, leaving this little bear bear sliver between the two until tensions arise again. And that's our last animal of the week, the aggregating anemone or Anthoplura elegantissima. These aren't the anemones you're looking for. <laughs>